Banner Health just announced around 5 to 7 percent of their employees have now been furloughed, and that's because a lot of their services are considered elective, which under Governor Ducey's executive order have been canceled during the COVID-19 crisis. And one of the services included in these furloughs is therapy. Our Kim Powell talked to a patient tonight. Before um, COVID-19, uh, the environment was very lax. We could bring our young babies in. We could seek treatment with our babies in the room. A patient at Banner Health seeking treatment three days a week at a group therapy session for postpartum depression says things changed rather quickly once the hospital started focusing on coronavirus and stopping the spread. She said they were no longer allowed to bring their babies into the appointments and they were screened before entering for their session. But this week, even that stopped. This week, our therapist advised us that she was being furloughed for two months. So um, it's her understanding that she was advised that she will still have employment once this is done, but she did not seem hopeful that that would actually be a reality. Banner Health said their employees whose workloads have decreased will be temporarily out of work. That equals to about five to seven percent of their staff, and now their patients have to find an alternative going to another building or or you know just trying to find a referral when you already have a rapport with an employee that you're comfortable with is is kind of to me why try banner says that some employees were able to be redeployed to assist with the covid 19 cases while more than 300 chose to voluntarily stay home for a month Furloughed employees now qualify for unemployment, and all of them will still receive full benefits. This patient, who wanted to remain anonymous, says she wishes virtual appointments were at least an option. It seems to me that they just completely went over that and just said, no, you're going to be furloughed. You don't have the numbers that you need in your therapy group uh, in order to proceed with treating patients. For patients, a lot is still up in the air. With not having the resources available, um, I, I sincerely am concerned that people are going to reach their breaking point and it scares me and it worries me and concerns me. Banner Health says that senior leaders like presidents, vice presidents and CEOs will all have a 20% pay cut. And on top of that, employees who are still caring for COVID-19 patients will see a one-time bonus in July. Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.